What's happening, everybody? It's Sean, joined by my son, Trey. And today on Reactions to the Classics, we have a rare triple song battle, but there's a little twist to it. It's the song Heartbeat by The Knife versus Jose Gonzalez versus The Trophy mm. Fire. So it's the same song presented in different genres, so to speak. Yeah. Brought to us by a friend, longtime supporter, and patron of the channel, Mark. Always appreciate you, Mark. Now, Trey, you have reacted to this song, the original song, by the knife mm -hmm. a while back for one of our other patrons and, and great friend of the channel, Deep Blue. But that was a long time ago. You might not even remember it. I don't think I do. Yeah. <laughs> I never heard it. So we're going to start off with the original by the knife. And if you don't know the knife, a Swedish electronic group uh, formed in 1999. They consisted of siblings, Karen and Olaf, uh, who together also run their own record company, Rabid Records. They gained a large international following in response to their 2003 album, Deep Cuts, which this is that's what this comes off of, man. Heartbeats is a song by them released in December of 02 as the lead single from that Deep Cuts record. It is listed at number 15 on Pitchfork's top 500 songs of the 2000s and at 87 on Rolling Stone's list of uh, top 100 songs High acclaim, of the 2000s. Man. So hey, maybe once it gets started, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's Heartbeats. But... And this is the longest of the three versions. Mm -hmm. I found that interesting in too. So uh, we're going to check this one out. We'll break down the lyrics a little bit and then we'll just check the other two. Yeah. Yeah, I know, that's what I was thinking, man. It gets you going.
night, man. The night bringing it with heartbeats. Um, man, you just uh, just some synth synth pop glory right here. Yeah, man. that's that's exactly <laughs> right, man. Got you bobbing, man. Very very catchy. Um, yeah, I mean, and you know, it's interesting too. Lyrics don't pop up until a, a little ways through the song. Yeah, they but, did. They did a build for sure. But uh, they they pack a, a lot in here too, man. And just the the way that the synth goes, man. And uh, you know, the uh, sometimes I find in electronic music, sometimes the drum machines can be a little almost overpowering. I agree. Time. I'm more on the synth side of things yes. whenever it comes to electronic uh, music, and uh, uh, you know that that's kind of the the breakdown of this song, I man. Agree. It, uh, it it has uh, just that uh, beautiful synthesizer that uh, uh, goes well with her voice man I think a female vocal um, you know uh, works works well with this and, and it just kind of has a light uh, atmosphere to it even though uh, some of the lyrics go a little uh, a little deeper uh, talking about the relationship and uh, who knows maybe it's a uh, uh, kind of breaking breaking down a, a little bit at points, but uh, still almost wanting uh, to to pipe through. A yeah, bit. yeah, and almost not one to you know pray. I guess mm-hmm. to call for hands of above the lean on wouldn't be good enough for me. To call for hands of above the lean on wouldn't be good enough for me. So maybe the relationship's ending and praying about it's not going to make her feel better. Well, and then you kind of get and you knew the hand of the of a devil, so you know you kind of got yeah. that in play there, and you kept us awake with wolves' teeth sharing different heartbeats. In one night. That's the only time Warpings yeah. comes in there. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, man, just a, a really a really catchy type of track right here. And I'm going to be very curious now, um, the, as we go now to the Jose Gonzalez version of this song, which is uh, over a, a minute less shorter here, um, how he's going to pull this off. Yeah, and Jose is an Argentine and Swedish indie folk singer, songwriter, and guitarist. He probably doesn't sign his signature <laughs> that way from uh, Gothenburg. Gonzalez is also a member of the band Junip on okay. Tobias Wintercorn. He covered this for his debut studio album, Veneer, in 2003, mm. but it was released as his lead single in 2006, so I guess Jose had a little bit of a hard oh. time getting released. Okay. In contrast to what we just heard, the electronic synth-based original, his cover features only an acoustic classical ah. guitar. This thing went all the way to number nine on the UK singles charts, and his version has been used in numerous commercials several films and tv shows that list was that long oh when i was researching well, it so well here i think uh, we're gonna get um you know probably a little more uh feeling in those lyrics probably. yeah yeah and no <laughs> build up or down so that's how you get that minute less i would imagine it feels like this could be on this is us i don't think that was one thing <laughs> no, that was right. Right. exactly yeah. Thank you. 
Jose Gonzalez with Heartbeats. This actually worked quite well as an acoustic. I, I, it I, did, I, man. I don't even know what would like <laughs> a, a, make you go, you know what, man, I could do this acoustic because the other version is so much different. What do you think? Yeah, man, I thought he uh, he sounded great. I mean, obviously, just a, a very simple arrangement just with the uh, acoustic yeah. guitar right there, man. Uh, a good voice and, uh, you know, just added a... It just shows you the, the beauty of music, man, to where you can take something that was originally a, a synth pop uh, bop, so to speak, man, yeah. and then you flip this on its head to where you have a, a much more melancholy uh, sense to it here. You can really feel kind of the hurt and the uh, maybe the, the break up in the, the relationship that's going on right here and uh, just the, the trials that are, um, you know, underway. And, um, you know, I thought the, the melody was great or that yeah. it, he, he employed here. And, um, yeah, man, I, I thought that, uh, yeah, yet again, it, it was really cool to, to see how... Uh, you know how just on its head uh the the whole song was uh, was turned so to speak yeah and now we go to our last version by the trophy fire which trey there's really nothing on the internet <laughs> about the trophy fire at all all i found is there are three-piece rock band hailing from san francisco mm. members include ben flanagan adam schumann and john schumann okay all right part of rock and edge here pretty dang good. You know, it's really interesting how this song can work in so many different yeah. genres. Fuzziness going on. Yeah, it's our work. The trophy fire bringing a more rocking version of this. What you what you think of it, man? I really like that version too. This is an interesting concept, man. To take a song 
you know, it's one thing if it's covered by somebody and they do a decently close down mm-hmm. the line. This is something where you got three separate genres. Yeah, that are just intersecting mm-hmm. with this song. So you said it during the song. It's, it's you know crazy how it can just be translated into mm-hmm. these three things. But I actually really liked it. I thought the chorus part in particular really hit for me. Yeah, I, I like the uh, instrumentation for sure. Sometimes we got some fuzziness on the guitar. Yeah. wasn't crazy about the vocals, to be honest. I, uh, I, it I, sounded much better in the chorus when he tried to get more powerful. I, and I think that I, I would have liked this delivered with a little more hard rocking edge to it. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, that's uh, that's just my, my one critique of it uh, right here. And, um, yeah, I, uh, I think you hit the nail on the head, Dad, out how, especially in an electronic song, obviously the lyrics are usually uh, not you know the most important thing exactly or anything so the, the fact that the knife were able to write this and it was able to be uh, you know kind of transposed to these different genres I think uh, just highlights uh, the knife's talent and I guess that'll take us now to the winner of uh, of this battle man um, one of the coolest song battles we've done I think this year Dad since it literally is the same song three different uh, in all I, I think within a few years of each other yeah. too coming out so what, a, what are you going with man well you got the trophy room you got jose gonzalez and you got the knife i guess i'm gonna go with the knife slightly Mm -hmm. um but then i would be uh with trophy the trophy fire would be second Mm -hmm. for me even though i thought jose's version was really good but i mean they're all really close i mean Mm -hmm. i really did enjoy each one but i guess i'll go with the original what about you i'm gonna stick with the knife as well i'd go in the order we heard them i go knife then i figured that after what you said about that yeah (laughs) i get that and then uh trophy fire i think that uh yeah the knife get a little edge since they actually wrote it and uh yeah and you know it was able to to be uh done in in these different styles and man that synth pop just uh, a good synth pop hits different man i'll tell you what but uh all in all really cool battle that mark brought us be sure to show him some love in the comments and of course let us know which of these three versions you have coming out on top and if you'd like to do a uh, song battle and have us react to it you can check out our patreon page which is linked below and will also be at the end screen along with another uh, a video that uh, hey you might enjoy checking out exactly but i guess uh, that'll cover it from us today until next time y'all thanks for watching happy listening and we will see you